All right, guys, welcome to Table Talk. My name is Elliot Morgan, and this is future Elliot Morgan. Hello. Also I've come to as... warn you of something. <laughs> yeah, you're, you're a me. huge dick. Oh. <laughs> and, that does, and that does not change in the future. <laughs> yes. <laughs> oh, I maintain it. I hold strong. Yay. All right, guys, enjoy Table Talk. Mm -hmm. Wait, no, tell them how it works. Oh, oh, so in case you guys don't know how Table Talk works, we choose random topics that you guys decide on over at reddit.com slash r slash sourcefed or using the hashtag Table Talk over on www.twitter.com. Mm. <laughs> Thanks a lot. Thanks, Elliot. Absolutely. <laughs> That's Trisha Hershberger. Like and subscribe. Yeah, okay. you too. So. Just slowly, Bye. carefully. Goes. So we have a guest today. Yay! Hi. Introduce yourself. Hi, I'm Anthony, and I host uh, D News. Oh. Anthony what? Let them know. Oh, I'm Anthony Carboni. Yeah. And I host D News, and I host. Thank you. We're happy to have him. Welcome to our table, sir. Thank you. Why Good do you to be like here? It? It's lovely. It's is a this nice like table. A, is this like a four mic. We wiped it down for you. You know what you could do as a special thing uh, you for the I viewers? Just... <laughs> no, we, we oh, definitely did we not. not no. <laughs> this is all a lie. And there's probably boogers in here. <laughs> Love um, it. So, can you describe the smell right now for the viewers? Because I don't think the viewers know what this area smells like. Yeah. Oh, God, so Steve. it smells like an old candle. Mm -hmm. Oh, that's nicer than I than what I like. Heard. Like just old candle wax, and then uh, mothballs, mm -hmm. and then if you step about four feet away. Way, it's just wet carpet. Yeah, yeah, that's because wet carpet all the way. I down. That's because Steve it. likes to spill his drink. I do spill my drink. It's a, <laughs> all the it's time. It's a gag that I feel like is new every time I do it. And you spill your drinks, like, and Elliot just spits his drink. Yeah, I've been here for 15 minutes, and, and it's been 37 spit takes. <laughs> Oh, I've been here. That's how we do. Uh, how so, we do. do you want to do the honors? Yeah, you I would love first to. First topic. Don't let me stop you from taking a sip of that coffee, though. Never. I want you to sip it. I can't do both at once. Even. I want you to sip it. I'm gonna sip mine. Mm -hmm. Mine's not coffee, though. Thoughts on No Shave November? Same as every other day. Boom. Boom. Done. I think it's nice. Drop the mic. <laughs> I think I, I enjoy seeing the plethora of. Uh, Pedo stashes that are mm -hmm. out there. Oh wow! There You're are going some. There, with that, there huh? are some that really do look like that, though. Like okay. they do it on purpose. Yeah, there are some dudes that try to grow the creepiest the possible creepiest stash, stash within 30 ever. Days. Well, I, I, think that I don't think all stashes a, are creepy. It's a but there 30 is a creepy days, stash. It's like a 30 day dash to Megan's list. Mm -hmm. It's basically <laughs> that's basically no shave yeah. November. No, I get it. I mean, but I feel like the pedophiles these days should probably try to like get away from the pedo stash moniker. So your mo your modern upwardly mobile pedophile. pedophile. Yeah, I feel like the modern pedophile is kind of like you know what they call it a pedo stash. Why is it, let's get rid of it. And there's a pedo, pedophile forum where they're like, listen guys, we gotta stop with the stash. So do you think in November they're in like all their glory? They're like, yeah, yeah no, 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 I think they just walk among us like vampires <laughs> during November. Well, it's just like when you talk to hipsters and you're like, you're a hipster because you do this or whatever. They're like, no, I don't do that. I did it before it was cool or whatever. Yeah. If you talk to a pedophile, they're like, you got a pedophile mustache. And they're like, no, I had the mustache before I was a pedophile. I like the idea of this pedophile forum where they're sharing tips. Right? Listen, For the guys. modern oh, pedophile. No, this pedo no, stash no, thing no. is not working for us, guys. You know, we can't all have a white van. Yeah. One of us has to get a oh, different van. No. Well, I wonder, too, if the pedophiles are like, stupid hipsters stealing our pedo stashes. Like, now everyone thinks they're pedophiles. Uh, well, we're gonna, be good we're gonna real pedophiles. I'm gonna ride down the street on a unicycle and see how they like it. <laughs> Jerks. Exactly. I'm gonna drink Pabst Blue Ribbon. We'll see what happens. Have you considered Aww. at the end of November shaving your beard for charity? Ooh, you know, the here's the thing. It comes up a lot, and I have never shaved my beard here at SourceFed. Because, at all. well, because Steve's joke is that if he ever shaves his beard, Phil's gonna fire him. I don't think it's a joke because Phil <laughs> said to me. <laughs> I think it's real life. He's called me into the office Phil and sat said, me down. He said it numerous <laughs> times. And at first I was like, this is a good joke. Oh, silly haha. -ha. I swear to you, it was like one of the first things he said to me when I came to the building. I don't doubt that like, at all. Before I even joined SourceFed. And it was like, it was kind of like our first meeting ever. And he was like, he said it in such a funny way though. He was like, you shave that must or you shave that beard, probably won't hire you. And I'm like, that's hilarious. And then he's like kind of looking at me. Like, All right. Okay. But then after that, it was kind of a joke. And then once he kind of took me away in confidence in a candlelit room, mm. and he was very frightening. He was rubbing my shoulders, yeah. and he said, "If you ever shave that damn beard." <laughs> This is still a joke. Maybe this is still a joke. Because the beard's getting a little out of control now. Well, I don't know if it's out it's, of control it's a little or crazy. if it's 
awesome. Yeah. <laughs> well, I mean, people would say that out of control is awesome when it yeah. comes to facial do you hair. Have a, do you have a care regimen? I do. I actually just. I'm bought... very new to beards. That's why this oh, beard really? is super oh, new. Dude, this let me beard show is super you the new. ways because How's by the way, it's you nice. like that? You've it's got nice. the makings of a great beard. Thank you. Like, sir. have you ever grown it? That out means a fully? lot to me. No, this is this is as far as it's gone. I'm ever? afraid. I'm afraid. Wow. Don't be afraid. First of all, embrace it because there's a lot of people out there, and trust me, I've been tweeted that are like, I can't grow a beard, and it's like Aww. the worst, and it breaks my heart. Yeah. Like, I feel like whenever someone's born that can't grow a beard, an angel dies. That's literally, I think, what No Shave November is about. Yeah, it's about the, the awareness children. of the children that can't yeah. grow beards. I should really look more into what it's about. Yes. Yeah. <laughs> well, and I think, so, you got the, you really do have the makings of a great beard. I think the viewers Did you just say beards agree. give you cancer? No, no, No Shave November is about oh, cancer, thanks. guys. Oh, is it about cancer? Yeah, awareness for cancer. Oh. Well. Do you know? Would you I... shave it now? Now that you know it's for cancer. Oh, no. Hell no. No. Absolutely. <laughs> absolutely I'd shave it for cancer. But here's the thing. Let's talk about that in a second. Okay. I want to talk about your beard. Sure. Mm. Have you Thank gotten you. to the really, like, <laughs> how you. do you feel mm. about it right now? Are you, do you feel like it's in an unbearable place? I, no. Feel I feel good real good about it. So I went off on vacation, and I was just like, you know what? I'm going to do it. Because if I do it when I have two weeks off camera... They can't say anything because I'll come back. It'll be a full beard. They can't tell me to shave. Yeah, I yeah. feel like that's every guy I know is like, I don't yeah. have to work for two weeks. I'm growing a beard. Yeah, yeah. And yeah. then what really happens is you grow like four hairs right here yeah. and like a strange patch yeah. there. So, like, spirally <laughs> and you're patch. like, really needed three weeks. Yeah. Really needed three <laughs> okay. weeks. Okay. Yeah. I can tell you if I try, if I tried, I used to be able to like grow a little like, like a little a beard. happy hair? man beard if I wanted to. Trisha, grow a beard. Do it. Embrace that's what, it. That's what happens for when you're a, a dark haired Italiano hey, lady. Hey, Trisha, do it for cancer. No way, I got it zapped off. Oh, <laughs> okay. That's Did you, you went in and you got, the ele- you got the electrolysis? I do laser hair removal. Wow. Okay. Well, mm-hmm. that's not fair. Smooth like a baby's butt. Yeah, is, it just, is it just here or is it anywhere else? Oh, no, it's it's mostly do chin. Do you do here? Is this here? I pluck here. You pluck there, okay. Yeah, yeah but Trisha, you should think about all the girls that I'm just wish. thinking about all the women in my Italian family. I'm yeah, like, I know what it. you do. You know. I know oh, where you, you know. are. You know where you are. You see the trouble zones? I turned I turned 12 and got the... It's that time where we go over Great Aunt Noreen's and learn how to wax. It's like the first oh, scene wow. of Teen Wolf. Yeah. <laughs> well, we gotta take care of it. What's gonna happen to you? I, What's I, happening to me? I'm very appreciative that I got pulled aside and brought into Patricia. that lady, that lady thing that we do where we take care of it. Because what mm-hmm. if no one tells you how to take care of it? Someone's got to tell you how to take care of it. Well, if it, but but you got to think about the poor girls out there that wish they could grow a beard, and you just you're, you've taken it away. Have you ever been tweeted? I've taken it away. I wish I, I, I wish I could grow a beard like yours. At all. Yeah, like no, no, no. Steve gets. Look, there's even little <laughs> ripples of my beard. Where's the beard on the table? This is See, that's why you know, we don't wipe the table. Every those time, are worth something. Yeah, every time <laughs> someone uh, doesn't is not able to grow a beard, I lose a beard hair. This, I tried to this say, every one time a beard hair, hair falls this out. This one hair dies. is going on eBay for yeah. no shave November. We're gonna lacquer it and we're gonna put it in a little. We're gonna have it bronze. We're gonna have it bronze. Put in lucite. And we'll actually know we should do. We should have an award ceremony called the Beardies. Yeah. And we should like we could have like a beard like award, and we could they give... probably have some type of beard award. You know who you fucking think... wins that? Well, I know they have competitions. Okay, but like we should start the first like ever YouTube beard awards. Yes. And you know who wins right Joe? away? Joe. No, not Joe. Although that is a lustrous. Beard. I just feel like Joe wins everything. You, you, who who would win? Because I'm telling you who would win, and Tell it's me. gonna make so much sense. Fucking Harley. Oh but yeah! Oh, Harley would win. Harley, Harley has, has the biggest, beard. most well, luxurious beard I've ever seen. Well, also because his attitude is he a conditioned. Beard. Yeah, everything about him is he just is a giant beard. beard. Yeah, exactly. You know, but I was gonna say that there are different ways that you can judge the beard, right? Mm-hmm. Like you've got a very full beard. I've got a right? full beard. Yeah. Like I have a very, like you, I have a very, very well kept manicured beard. beard. Yeah, you do. You have a man well kept. Beretta beard. has like a really lustrous, Dude, thick beard. Yeah, Joe has like what I like to call the perfect man beard mm-hmm. because it's like it's literally like someone put on a beard helmet <laughs> and it's <laughs> manufactured perfectly for It's his as face. though there was a plastic bearded android. Yeah, made. exactly. It and they like... all had to be exactly the same. <laughs> exactly. I just saw it was like he had a suit tailor made for himself, but it was a beard tailor made. I just oh. saw a thing going around Twitter like yesterday or the day before where it was all the Disney princesses with beards. Yeah, yeah. that's great. Oh, it's gosh. amazing. It's really great. Ariel it's amazing. Good. Yeah. I feel 
Squirtle. I'm not. I'm like. I don't want to go any farther with that. But I'm just gonna say. Yeah. Ariel looked good. I wouldn't yeah. kick her out of the ocean bed. This I like the barber's Milan's chair. Beard. <laughs> Milan's beard. Yeah, chair. I Look, I got it. So you have you haven't reached the itchy zone. Have you gone? I, I went oh, itchy and then the I went itchy, past right? itchy. Okay, good. Yeah. Itchy is at thing. first, right? See, but that's the thing. Okay. A lot of people they get to the point where they're like, it's too itchy. I gotta shave it. And oh. I'm like, you gotta. You gotta let it be. This is when you become a man. You because that's also when it looks its worst. It is right. So it really tests you because it's all patchy and strange and itchy and you're just like, it looks terrible, it feels terrible, I feel terrible, yeah. okay. why did I try to do this? But that's like I'll the, never um, be as wait, manly as my I, grandfather. I, How do I change mm -hmm, an oil on a car mm -hmm. and oil, this. it's one oil, yeah. right? Sure. Okay. Here's a question for you, man. I've heard that if you straight razor your face, yeah. it makes the hair pointy on the end and then it hurts more to touch. Whereas if you like electric buzzer it, it's like, Straggly at the end, I and don't then it's softer. know if that's beard as much as that, uh, if the blade as much as it is uh, conditioning. What? Oh yeah, oh, yeah. Okay. Okay. and that's what I'm there's gonna beard, talk about. There's in a bit. beard oil. Do you have a checklist? Do you want to uh, get out? Well, I'm gonna, first of all, I'm gonna tell you. This is fascinating. <laughs> well, there is because there's actually, a lot that goes into it. Yeah, I have fact, a tiny comb, and that's not a lie. No, you've got to. You've gotta have you, a tiny comb. The tiny comb is for the mustache, and you can get a good um, a good yak hair brush mm -hmm. for the full beard. But here's the thing. The only thing I can, the only way I can describe like going through the the development of a beard from mm -hmm. infancy to adulthood is um, it's kind of like at the end of uh, Indiana Jones and the Last Crusade. Mm -hmm. They're going through those booby traps to get yeah. to the to the Holy Grail. Sure. Only the penitent man will pass and grow a full beard. Mm -hmm. Is what I'm trying to say. <laughs> yeah. so what I'm is, it is, looks like there's a giant chasm there, but if you just step, it's there. If you yeah. just step, it's there. You can walk across. Yeah, you can even throw rocks on it. So and Steve, it'll show. It'll also, show. that lady had sex with your father. <laughs> Maybe you bang exactly. He That's banged all. a girl that his dad banged within like two days, within okay. forty-eight hours. We can't move on. This is important stuff, Trisha. <laughs> we gotta, we gotta nail it down. Okay. All I'm saying is, for all you kids out there, they nailed that, it down. For all those kids and adults out there that are trying to grow a beard, yeah. You gotta power through that itchy, uncomfortable stage. You gotta stay strong. You gotta power through it, cause that's the test of manhood. As soon as you make it through the itchy uncomfortableness, you're on the road to woolly amazingness. And ladies, if you're growing a beard and would not like to have one, you can take care of it. Yeah, <laughs> or you can just fucking rock it and be or a you hot. Can rock, I, that's why I said if you would not like to have one. If you're a lady who has one and would yeah. love to have one, then rock it. Let's do your do thing. thing. And by the way, I'm learning about the ca the care of a beard a these tiny days. Comb. Um, conditioner is yep. a very very big thing. You want to condition the hell out of this. Oh thing. yeah, you gotta condition You've it. Got you can't to feel condition. that. That's conditioned. Yeah, get okay. in there. Get in there. That's you condition too. Oh, yeah. Yeah. You have to. Also, yeah. I bought this stuff and it's amazing. It's called Honest Amish Beard Beard Wax. Okay. Mama Mia. It's not cheap, but you rub that shit in your hands. It's you rub you it like in. Did you like curly stuff? I'm telling it? you what. It gives you a great smell, mm -hmm. a good shine, and it holds the shape. See, I don't use I don't use the wax because I don't think I have enough body for that. Not yet. You're ready. But I do though. I do use a little bit of the oil though. Yeah, you use gotta a use oil. a little bit of the you oil. You use a little lotion too. Mm -hmm. put a, I put a little lotion in my beard. And then you use your you use your little comb mm -hmm. and you get the straight edges there. Okay. Yeah. So okay. you don't look like somebody's creepy uncle or a middle manager somewhere where or... no one wants to work. <laughs> You know, uh, yeah, you're just staring. Exactly you're exactly. staring up. You're working at a call center, and you're staring up, and he's just got that one yeah. curly oh, hair, yeah. oh, and yeah. his breath is. He's been using the same coffee mm. mug, and he doesn't wash Ew. it. I've been yeah. there. You By don't the want to be that guy. I can tell Use you guys the little both comb. Been there Use without the little a little comb. By the way, you know what I learned? Uh, someone tweeted at me that they're in the Victorian era. This mm -hmm. could be bullshit. Why but did you in the Victorian show you in the Victorian era when they had their novelty Batman mug. Yeah, it was actually all steampunk looking. It was Gotham by gaslight. Yeah, it was actually a realistic bat in a circle. But no, they, they, they had um, tea mugs and coffee mugs that actually had like a little mustache like protector built into oh. it. And you can drink your tea and your coffee without getting your mustache. Uh, with Why has society gone backwards? I know. I know. We had the technology. Boys. We got rid of the technology. Hey. It's like the dark ages it's after the ridiculous. renaissance. Boys, Why do it? This is your chance. Make the stash mug. Bring it back. I'm gonna kickstart a stash mug. Stash mug! Stash mug. I need it's seven happen. million dollars. It's important because once you start getting that overgrowth, <laughs> it's just a guess. <laughs> it's an estimate. Yeah, yeah. Well, it's gonna be less you than right, a million. You wanna dollars. overshoot rather than come up I short. I like that idea. Uh, I think you could raise seven million dollars during No Shave November. Yeah, probably. For the stash mug. I think you could. This is the time to do it, boys. <laughs> it would not be. This is it. Asterisk. Not for charity. That By goes the, into my pocket. Oh shit! I was gonna this say this is a fun else. one, boys. Okay. Oh, I forgot Good. it. Say you know what else. I was going to, and I forgot it. It was gonna go off in a whole new Three. zone. 
Okay. Two. Don't do this to One. me. That's too much <laughs> Okay, okay, new question, new question. We'll come back to it if you remember. <laughs> no, I won't. Okay, Ernesto Rivera at Ernesto says, what would you prefer? Is that prefer? with four O's? Uh, yeah, four O's. Is sounded, it four O's? Sounded like it, yeah. <laughs> you Thank called you. it, bro. Thank you. What would you prefer? A zombie apocalypse or an alien invasion, and why? I would go for alien invasion right off the bat no because way. you know why? Can I tell you why? You can tell us why. First of all, I won't buy it. Zombie apocalypse is the end of the world. Like without no, a doubt, no, no, no. End of the world. Did you see warm bodies? No, yeah, I didn't true see love warm is bodies. Gets, warm no, bodies it's not is amazing. Warm bodies. We're not using warm bodies as the Come canon on. for the zombie Come apocalypse. On. No, Here's on. Even though he was dreaming. Because he was on, dreaming. This is what I want to say really quick. When you, so far, the most realistic zombie apocalypse movie, show, series I've ever really watched and seen is Walking Dead. Like, the mm. comic is very realistic. The show, even more so. They try to get as gritty and real as possible. I'm looking at, when I watch Walking Dead, I'm looking at a show that accurately, at least to my and, But that's to become my mind, what's accurate. Well, I'm just right. saying that it portrays what it might really be like if there was a zombie See, apocalypse. So we, but even here's here's my thing. Mm -hmm. uh, in every single simulation they've ever run of a global pandemic, everything the CDC's ever do, ever done, every, everything any mm -hmm. scientist has ever done, mm -hmm. the zombie apocalypse does not last. The virus does not spread. Yeah, they infinitely. find some way to. Fix it just it. it just can't, especially if we're talking like super slow zombies. Really? It can't spread. Really? It can't spread. Because here's the other thing. People are smarter in real life. Not a lot of people. Here's what I think would happen with a zombie right. apocalypse. I'm walking dead, yeah. we're following a real dumb group oh of people. Oh my gosh. Like World War Z even. Yeah. That was yeah. terrifying. Yeah. And usually, they fixed that. That's the thing. We're usually usually following a really dumb group of people when we watch this. Yeah, these are the same people who are like, uh, we should split up. Yeah, go alone. Uh, yeah, yeah, I twisted my ankle, go on without There's me. There's a murderer in the house, let's run upstairs. Let's yes. vacation in the cabin. Let's, you know, let's like, abandon no. this completely. These are zombie apocalypse zombie people. Well, but yeah. then, if we're gonna qualify, mm -hmm. we need to pick which type of alien invasion it is, too. Well, that's what I was gonna say, because, like, with an alien invasion, you can, so let's say, let's say, um, we have an alien invasion. You could somehow take their technology and use it against yeah, them. Yeah, if you could get up to if them to take their technology. Well, I mean, what if it's about... like aliens? Like, what if it's the movie Alien? Shh, what if it's a xenomorph? Okay, well, dude? if it's a xenomorph, we're fucked. Yeah. One hundred percent fucked. I mean, let's go down the list. Like, xenomorph, <laughs> fucked. Predator, fucked. fucked. Uh, no, uh, we've got Arnold no, still. I mean, he's we're old fucked. now, but. That was one predator. Yeah. Oh. You, remember, okay, okay, an enough. invasion is invasion. a planet but I mean, of the predators. predators. The predators, they don't like. I would say that we probably couldn't even take ET if we needed to. Aww. You know, I mean, I would just say he's got psychic powers he's and he so gets nice. in your head. You know what though, ET I will don't defeat know. us. He loves Eminem. But ET defeats with his love. Yeah. He really does. His greatest weapon is his heart. It's like being invaded by a heal. bunch of adorable kittens. Yeah, it really is. You're just like, <laughs> all right, I guess I'll just rub uh -huh. your belly and wear these chains mm -hmm. forever. This sounds That's fine. Okay. Yeah, exactly. That's fine. And feed you Reese's Pieces whenever you want. Oh, them. Reese's Pieces. I think That's I'm it more equipped. You're right. I think I'm more equipped to survive a zombie apocalypse than I am an alien invasion. I think an alien invasion is just too much. They're flying and things are coming. I think I would go into panic mode. I don't think I have the ability to defend myself. I think in a zombie apocalypse... I'm pretty. I think I'm pretty smart. I, mean, like, I think I got strategies. I okay. think I. I think I could. So you've you've had some forethought going into the well, here's for sure. Powers. In an alien okay. invasion, because you don't know what an alien's gonna bring to the you table. Have no that's idea. You have no idea. That's true. But I feel like in an alien invasion, depending on where you live, you could be completely skipped over for nah. like the, for the greater populated area. Well, they would go for the cities first, but once they take over the world, they're taking over the world. But what I'm world. saying yeah, is, is true. we have a pretty good defense with the world. We've got like a lot of weaponry, a lot of good technology, weapons. And I and I feel like one ship with one force field beats everything we've ever it's made. It's true, ever in but life. I feel like look, we got Independence one Day. One force field, dog. But if Independence Day is any uh, indication of how we would handle an alien invasion, I say we got a couple Will Smiths in the military somewhere. That's true. I say we got a couple of Jeff Goldblums, maybe even a Harvey Firestein. We still have Arnold. I'm throwing it out there. I mean, look, we've got oh, we've got an Arnold. That's the thing. I, I feel, feel like that Arnold card isn't as isn't as like unbeatable <laughs> as it used to be, it's Trish. True. I feel like it's, I, it's mean, true. I feel like you've got like a pumping still. iron card in your head, yeah, and exactly. I'm thinking like Governor of California. <laughs> no, like, no, the governor not, has a lot of power. Not dude. the governor. The governor has a lot of power. Pre Okay. But here's the thing with a zombie or with a zombie apocalypse, your fucking neighbor could end, your girlfriend, your boyfriend, your brother could be a zombie like that. Do you know who I that am in the zombie apocalypse? Head. This is this is my one weakness in the zombie apocalypse. I'm paranoid guy. 
that's who I am. I'm the guy who's really good in the beginning, mm. but then starts getting real paranoid and starts asking people why they're making their decisions. Wait, so you're... I start unraveling. Yeah. In Shaun of the Dead, I'm the jerk. Yeah. I'm that jerk all guy. Right, right. Yeah, I get... Well, at least you know that about yourself. I feel like I'm that guy. I like to think I'm not. So you're the Dylan Moran guy. The guy that's yeah. like, he's standing back there and he's like, you're the one that did it! You all did it! You did it! Yep. All right, well, then I that feel, means... But I, I'd like to think I'm not... But I think I probably well, so you am. Feel like anyone that would like, <laughs> like, in, like real talk. So you would bust it's just under the three of us, right? Him. Yeah, it is just the three of us. I, Does that make me Ed in the zombie apocalypse in the Shaun of the Dead? I would get right on a boat. That means you're even lovable I'm as a zombie. I'm on a boat. Though. That's true, and I'd be playing video games still. Okay. Uh. I'm on a boat. I'm singing. I'm on a boat, and I'm going to an island. What is it? Yeah. Dawn, Dawn of, no, I know uh, Dawn of the Dead remake. Dawn of the Dead remake. You can't get on a boat. Yeah. Why not? Yeah. No. At the end of the Dawn movie, of the Dead, and then Day of the Dead. I think it was Day of the Dead two or whatever. Like, were they? Were they all going? Yeah. You, you, you just get on a boat, and then you think they can't get on the boat, and then they're on the boat, and then you're trapped on a boat. On a boat. With and them? then it's not only that, forty Trisha. feet. And you and them on a boat. Yeah. Uh. Have you ever seen the Dawn of the Dead? Remake? I don't watch scary movies, so I'm at a severe disadvantage uh, if it comes to like, a zombie I'll, apocalypse. I'll I don't what. know what to do. I haven't done the research. Uh, they feel like that they're home free because they're on a boat, and then they get to this island, and they're like, "No way!" There was, there was a zombie on, on the boat. Tons of zombies on the island. What? Yeah, they're fucked. What? You might as well. Get into like one of those 50 style mm. telephone booth stuffing contests with zombies if you're gonna get on a boat. You might as well just be like, how many zombies can we fit in this three foot space nice. with me? So, No Shave November. Yeah. Uh, <laughs> <laughs> no, there was another question since No Shave November. By the way, I did wanna say that like I would consider shaving it for a good cause, uh -huh. but what fucking cause would this? <laughs> Be good for like I don't get the whole like if you grow it like long like Harley's you could do locks of love maybe but yeah. like a beard though and this you could give it somebody a real really serious cool. throw <laughs> like when they take my beard hair and literally maybe? apply it to their head why not it'd be the worst looking thing no one wants that <gasps> maybe uh, it just kind of grows out like yeah. this or, <laughs> you look like a troll doll yeah, exactly. <laughs> or maybe they really want a sweet beard and you can make like a faux beard well like for have them they ever done that can you, you can you do locks of love Beard with transplant? beard, and they can put beard, a beard Maybe? on someone. Has anybody know. needed a beard transplant medically I know, enough right? that they've done the experiment? Hi, my name's Danny. I'm embarrassed to go in the office because I'm bald here only. All the other lumberjacks make well, no, fun but, of me. Okay, <laughs> exactly. but think of it. And think they of steal it. my pancakes. Yeah, exactly. My, <laughs> exactly. my boys, they give me the littlest axe to work with. Think about with. it. If either of you lost the ability to grow your beard. Mm -hmm. Would I mean, you consider like wearing a but you beard gain the it ability makes you to fly. Feel more like yourself. Boom. <laughs> well, see, that's the thing. Like, if it's I lost, not that weird. If I lost the, if I one day woke up and my beard was completely gone, you couldn't grow and a I beard. Could never grow it back yeah. again. I don't think I'd ever leave the house. See, that's really? what I mean. You'd want to wear a faux ashamed. beard to I'll go out in public. I'll tell you what. I mm -hmm. even though I've only had this thing for a couple mm -hmm. of months, I look back at pictures of myself just two, three months ago. I'm just like. That guy looks like an idiot. Who is that? What an idiot baby <laughs> so, moron. Elliot Morgan. You mean Elliot Morgan? You look at photos of Elliot and say, what an idiot baby mm. moron? I have an answer for that that doesn't disparage Elliot. Well, you know what? Okay, I look okay, at, okay. Mm. Oh, Just need some juice first. Mm. By the way, I look at most babies and say, what an idiot mm. baby mm. moron. Mm. Mm. There you mm. go. Mm. Okay. Mm. All right, he doesn't. <laughs> <laughs> I like that we're chugging coffee now. Look, but the thing is, is if I fine. lost my ability to grow a beard, yeah. I would like I don't know. That's like Superman losing his ability to fly. That's why I'm beard saying. Beard or ability to have children. Oh, dude, take away the kids. <laughs> oh, Stevie, oh, Stevie, it. Stevie, Stevie don't want kids. Dude, I would like throw in anything where beard is and not have Soda children. Soda or for, not have kids. Not have kids. Beard. Or you lose, or you lose motion in your hand, and you have to relearn everything, including the guitar. Oh shit! I oh man, beard. I'd have to go beard because you even need if that I guitar. Sir. But if I couldn't play the guitar again, mm -hmm. I still have. You other could. Abilities. It would just. You would have to relearn everything. Well, maybe I could relearn and learn the right way for once. <laughs> 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 Stevie, all right, quick round. All right, lightning quick round. round. Quick lightning round. Let's do one more. All right, fuckers. Lauer, face of grace from Twitter says, what's your favorite way to celebrate your birthday? Or are you not into birthdays? Inspired by Mabu, HBD Ryan. Happy birthday, Ryan. Oh, happy, happy birthday, birthday, Ryan. Happy birthday, Ryan. Um, easy for me, Disney, Disneyland. 
Wow, you're one of those, huh? I do Disneyland on my birthday. I get the little birthday button that says happy birthday. They write Trisha on it, and then everywhere I go, everyone says happy birthday, You know, Trisha. nowadays, though, Makes like... Makes me feel special. Because <laughs> I'm with you, Trisha. Like, I like the Disneyland trip. Like, Take there's off work, nothing better. And by the way, Disneyland. remember at California Adventure when they had the tortilla factory? The, the, it was like the you Mission Tortilla free Factory? Tortilla. Not only do you get free tortillas, but I bet you didn't know this secret. What? On your birthday, they would give you a whole fresh bag of tortillas. I didn't know that! Yeah, and, and now we can... just drill holes into them and shove candles in it. <laughs> Exactly. Tortilla cake. Uh -huh. That's good. What do you guys do on your birthdays? I'm telling you, I used to like to go to Disneyland, but now more than anything, mm -hmm. I'm an old man now. I don't like to party anymore. I'll hang out at my house. Mm -hmm. <laughs> I want people coming over. I want to put on a good movie. I want to dim the lights. I want snacks. I want pizza pie. I want root beer floats. <laughs> yeah. And I just want to okay. fucking junk food out on bad movies, good movies, horror movies, and just like fucking celebrate, man. That's you've good. revert you've reverted back to sleepover status. Yeah, I want every You've gone fact, back to ten year old I sleepover miss sleepovers, status. Yeah. Dude. I miss them so much. Like I'm at an age where a sleepover is now potentially like cheating on your wife. Yeah. <laughs> Especially well, even if it's a guy. Like well, it's just because And that's the thing, is even if there are a group of you and it's like four thirty <laughs> in the morning and you know everybody's gotta drive like forty five minutes yeah. to get home. You still feel weird asking, yeah, right? Exactly. Why well, I feel oh, weird really? asking? It would be awesome. I know it's not fair. Don't like, feel weird asking. I fair. ask. I ask friends to stay over all the time. No drinksy driving. I don't do much for my birthday anymore. Is that lame? No, I'm not, it's not. you don't like to do things. It's for not that day? I don't like okay. to. Like I'll go out and I'll have I'll have drinks and stuff. I don't know. I don't like to put together the whole event and stuff That's like fine. that anymore. But I do. I do like getting together with some friends and going out and having a few drinks and, okay. and just chilling. But yeah, the I chill don't, birthday. The chill birthday. I don't know. You do so many birthdays, Yeah, right? I'm all about the chill birthday, and th that's the thing, we're dudes. Yeah. And as far as like when you get into the older dude mm -hmm. territory, you don't give a fuck what happens on your birthday. No, but it's nice. And you know what it is? I also feel weird creating a Facebook event or something <laughs> yeah. in celebration of myself. Yeah, exactly. Oh, somebody else can do it for you. <sighs> yeah, well, that's, well, that's I not feel true. Like that's, I, I Facebooked <laughs> my own this year. But that's just a formality though, right? So like, I'll, okay, my fiance starts my Anthony birthday bash, right? Who's the second person that's made an admin and the first person to be invited? <laughs> it's you, me. Me. It's yeah. just a formality. <laughs> you, as far sure. as anybody knows, I started it myself. Well, I yeah. started, it just feels weird. I had, hey everybody, it's my birthday and I really want to go roller skating and I don't want to do it by myself. So anyone who wants to come roller skating, please dress up like something from Harry Potter and come roller skating with yeah, me. Yeah, That's okay. I like how you just snuck the Harry Potter <laughs> thing in. Exactly. Like, well, it was real small. I was like, we're just going to go roller skating. It's just my birthday. It's not a big deal. Also, if you could just dress like a Hufflepuff. <laughs> like, like yeah. I want to go. I wanna there go. were a lot of sweet Hufflepuffs and then birthday party. Wait, Trisha, can I do a birthday party where, like, I really want all of us to go to Chuck E. Cheese and I want us all to dress like Nazis. So come come hang out and we'll do it. We'll Everybody, I mean, since stash. it's November, get your pedo stash yeah, on. We're going to Chuck E. Cheese. Yeah! It's my birthday. Gonna rent a van. Yeah. It's my birthday. You gotta have a pedo stash. All right. Perfect. I love it. I'm uh, coming a white van that you all come in no, together no, no, with no, no, no windows. We have turned No Shave November into the most disgusting van. It was such a beautiful thing, oh, and we no. ruined it. All right. Well, thank you guys. Uh, so, what do you guys like to do on your birthday? Yeah, what do you like Give to do us on some birthday? ideas. You like the chill birthday, the sleepover birthday, the plan on Facebook birthday? You oh, guys like the let Andrew us know. WK party hard birthday. That's a good one. Right? That's a good one. And yeah. then if you have a question to ask, you can always submit that on Twitter via hashtag table talk or you can go to Reddit R slash SourceFed. I'm Trisha Hirschberger. I'm Anthony Carboni. And I'm Steve Zaragoza. So thanks for joining us. Thanks, man. Anthony. It's good to be here. And your right beard, in, man. Oh, you really do fit right in. It's just the beard. Well, it's because well, it's yeah. because he's Elliot Morgan in the future. Yeah. Oh, well, that makes sense. You're right. Yeah. So That's it's true. a little easy. We're used to working with him. Mm -hmm. What happens to me in the future? Mm -mm. Oh, you don't want to say it? Mm -mm. Okay.